Hello, hi guys. So today let's see how can we install Google Test Framework in Linux operating system. So basically what is Google Test Framework? So it is a test framework which is used to write unit test cases for C++ application. And it is open source and it is provided by Google. And let's see like how can we install a Google Test Framework. So there are two ways to install a Google Test Framework. One is using sudo apt, that is a regular one. Then the second one is to clone the GitHub repository of a Google test. So then you can compile yourself, then you can install. So let's see both the ways. So first way is like what you have to do is sudo apt install a lib gtest iPhone dev. So this is what you need to do. So before that one, let me execute this command show. So it will show some of the information about this package. So here you can see there is a dependency for this one. The dependency is a Google test. Sometimes what happens is like the dependency will not automatically get installed. This is like sometimes happens. So for that one, what we can do is, so we'll install both together ourselves. Sudo apt install, then end Google test, Google test, enter. So once you do this one, what happens is, so let's go to slash user src. So once you go inside this one, here you can see two folders getting created. One is a Google test, that is a clone repository, and another one is a gtest. If I do ls minus la, here you can see gtest is, is nothing but a symbolic link for the folder which is present in Google test. So Google test, right slash Google test, this is the folder. So what we have to do is go inside this Google test and ls. So here we need to compile this one as a regularly how we compile a CMIC project, CMIC B build. So since here it is giving error because I did not even execute it with a sudo because it is inside slash user. So let me do with sudo. So again like sudo CMIC iPhone iPhone build iPhone build. So this will build the Google test framework. So here you can see there's a two library. So libtest.a and lib test underscore main dot a the two libraries which is generated from this one what we have to do is we need to copy this one into slash user lib directory copy build lib lib g test star slash user lib with sudo let me enter so now it is copied so now you may be wondered like why this is needed why should we need to compile this one because this is the way the google test framework is supplied so there are some conflicts so let's not get into deeper about that one so basically we, we need to build the g test framework this is nothing but a google test framework then we need to copy into this user lib and also what happens is whenever we install sudo apt so by default automatically slash user include g test here the g test automatically is been populated with the header files of a google tests so this is automatically been installed similarly whenever i go into slash user uh, maybe lib x86 64 uh, cmake i think cmake yeah here you can see when i do the ls into the cmake here you can see the g test folder is generated so this is the package which is required for uh, cmake to compile with the g test and that is a google test framework so these two things are automatically set except the library is not been installed which is automatically we compiled and we have installed so this is one way now let me go into my directory here you can see i have written a cmake some of the simple test so here i included gtest gtest and this is a addition uh, program so here i have written uh, two test cases so basically this is using a google test framework Let's see like whether it works and if i go to our cmake and it is very simple cmake here you can see find package the find package is nothing but this gtest this gtest is nothing but the folder which i had shown here this gtest so this is a package name so it finds the package name then i am adding the executable and i am linking the libraries gtest underscore libraries this is the variable which we need to supply for linking the a dot out then enable testing enable testing and add test is nothing but a c test framework so this is uh, not part of this class let's say c test so the c test is nothing but like uh, it automatically tests all the executables all the test cases where we added here right so add test so that is what c test means so let me go and compile so rm minus rf some build is automatically generated let me do
yes so now it is generated when i execute a dot out here it can you see so automatically the google test frameworks it executed my unit test case positive and negative test case also you can go into this build directory you can give c test hyphen capital v means verbose and hyphen capital vv means the verbose with some more information so this is how it is getting executed using our c test framework so this is how you can install uh, uh, google test framework in one way so let's see other way let me do rm minus rf build so the other way is what we have to do is we need to google go into this google test uh, github repository and in here you can see there are some release versions you click on this four releases so you'll end up in this page so in this page it will give version information and what is the uh, things they have made a changes in that version so for now let's uh, stick on to version 1.12 point uh, point this one let me go to that uh, tags itself so here we can see there are so many tags so one way how can we do is like let me click on this one what you can do is let's copy this one before that one copy this ssh go to this one git clone enter so even before that one what we can do is uh, you can give hyphen b so it will check out to this release branch so let me paste it here so once we do this one what happens it it clones this github repository and check out to this branch which is nothing but a tag and also the head is detached so let me go to google test if i execute git status here you can see no currently on any branch so that means it is the head is not pointing to uh, the checked out repository the head is detached so now let me see here so now here you can see the google test and google mock everything is built what we have to do is like as similar to cmake be build enter now cmake build build so this one will build a google test framework yes here it is done so here you can see there is like four libraries it, it is generated one is a gtest which is nothing but google test and it is a static library and gtest with main this is also static library and there is one more uh, two more uh, libraries is getting generated which is the nothing but a mock library which is used to mock some of the functionalities while developing a unit test case in google test framework so to install what we have to do is simple target install so i think i need to give sudo for this one yes here it is done so now here it is done let me go to our project ls so let me recompile this one build build before this one you here you can see slash user local lib c make g test so earlier it was into x86 uh, path so now it is pointing to this one so this is nothing but wherever we have installed the newly compiled google test framework so let me do build enter now let me execute the test case build a dot out can you see here the google test framework is executed not a google test framework our unit test case is executed so this is the way you can install a google test framework so summary is like you can uh, install in two way one is directly using sudo apt command and the second one is clone the github repository compile yourself and install yourself so this is how you can install a google test framework for your unit test cases that's it for this video if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you